For more information on tutoring, personalized video solutions, or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. In this video, I really just want to cover some definitions. Um, they're basically, there's inner or core electrons, outer electrons, and valence electrons, and it's important to know what these things are, what they mean. So the inner or core electrons are electrons in previous noble gas configurations and completed transition series. Okay, so let's think about the example bromine. So bromine's condensed configuration is written like this. So everything up through argon, then 4s2, 3d10, and then 4p5. So what are the electrons in the previous noble gas configuration and completed transition series? That's basically going to be all of the electrons that make up right there, right? That's the everything in the previous noble gas configuration and any completed transition series. So there, all those electrons and these 3d10 electrons. Those are all the inner or core electrons in the example of bromine. Okay, so that's just the definition there. Now, outer electrons are the electrons in the highest energy level, specifically the highest n value, right? Because n gives you the energy level. So keeping with that example for bromine, the highest energy level is 4. So the outer electrons in this case are these 4s2 electrons and these 4p5 electrons because the highest n value here is 4. So all those electrons are considered the outer electrons. So it's got seven outer electrons there. What's going on with valence electrons? Valence electrons are the electrons involved in bonding, which is basically forming compounds. And we'll talk more about that later. Um, but that's just the definition of valence electrons. Now, which electrons specifically are the valence electrons? Well, for main group elements, which are the elements that are numbered as uh, a number and an A next to it, so group 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, 5A, 6A, 7A, and 8A, those are the main group elements. So for them, the valence electrons are actually the outer electrons for main group for main group elements, right? If you know what the outer electrons are, those are just the valence electrons. So the number of valence electrons that a, a main group element has is equal to its group number. For example, bromine. Bromine, its outer electrons are 4s2 and 4p5, those electrons in total. So it's got seven, right? Two plus five is seven. So that's seven valence electrons in the case of bromine. Now, for transition elements, figuring out what's going on with the, tra or with the um, transition elements in terms of their valence electrons, a little bit different. Their valence electrons are their outer shell electrons plus their n minus one d electrons. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, their outer shell electrons are the, electron the, the outer electrons, which are the ones in the highest n value. Okay, so um, the example for vanadium, V, We've got all the electrons up until argon, and then 4s2 and 3d3. That's the electron configuration for vanadium. So the outer shell electrons would be 4s2, so that's those guys, plus the n minus 1 d electrons. So if the n is 4, which is what's going on here, that's the highest energy level, n minus 1 would be 3, and so those d electrons, those n minus 1 d electrons, are also valence electrons for transition elements. So in this case, there are, there are five valence electrons in the case of vanadium. So it's a little bit different when it comes to transition metals. Okay. Anyway, I really just wanted to, to make this video as a sort of definitions video. So these are important things to be aware of. And I hope that video helps to kind of make that pretty clear. Thanks for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you and happy studying.